going to show a picture of you and and uh, and please explain to everyone what what is going on here. You're laying by the pool and you've got shoes on. Oh. And what is the reason? It's hot there, right? Well, here's the thing, Ellen. I have ugly feet. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm serious, guys. My my toenails look like sunflower seeds. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, so because of this problem. I don't like to show my feet. Like, listen, like, there's times, like, when me and my girl, we've been on the beach, and I'll take my feet and dig them so deep in the sand, and I don't like to move. And it's not even that bad. I'm just self-conscious. I got, like, two... They're, they're not black, black, but they're kind of black toenails. Uh, it's, it's black enough for people to take a second look. Like, like, that's what I don't like. Like, that's... I don't like that. I don't want to be in a position where you got to do a double glance. That's, that's not good. Like, uh, I don't care how famous you are, <laughs> how funny you are. If you have bad feet, it's the worst thing to have. Oh, my God. And, and like, people go, oh, and I got to explain it. I was an athlete. I wasn't. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I was wild, so I just wear like literally. You guys are laughing. I I jump in the pool with like chucks on. Like I wear chucks as my like water socks or aqua socks. It's, wow. it's disturbing. It's bad. I'm so sorry to hear about that. No, I'm and, sorry. Yeah. Um, all right. We have to take a break, and uh, we'll be back more with Kevin after this. You're a no. hilarious guy, and I and I feel bad about your your feet. So I got you a gift so that you're you get me? able to. Uh, <clears throat> I got you some slippers. Holy so when shnikes. you're Holy shnikes! Yeah. I don't. Because these might work. Like, this <laughs> might really work. Ellen, uh, this right. is really a good gift. All right, you're welcome. Oh, she saved my life! Uh, all right. $10,000. <laughs> all right. The Real Husbands of Hollywood premieres January 15th at 10 o'clock on BET. We'll be right back. Kevin, thank you so thank much. You. It's very serious, people. I suffered a very serious injury this weekend yeah. in Disney World. I was with my kids, Jay. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I took my kids tubing. Now, I know it doesn't sound like it's that, that serious at first, but I was on the tube with my kids, and the guy goes, hey, man, for adults, you know, we can speed this thing up. Right. I'm a daredevil. You know that, okay? Yeah. I'm a thug, Jay. Uh, my background speaks for itself. I've yeah. been to jail. Listen, what I'm saying? <laughs> so we get off of the tube. I'm like, yeah, I want to do it. So he's got me and my brother. We both get on separate tubes. Right. Speedboat starts pulling at 70 miles per hour. I'm not lying, okay? We hit a wave, right? Now, because I'm so small, because of my height, I'm aerodynamic. Not on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not on purpose, but we hit the wave. Bow! I shoot up in the air. Now, I was scared at first, but then in my mind, I start thinking, like, oh, I'm going to stick it. Like, I'm going to come down, and people are watching. They're going to be like, oh, this is probably what Kevin Hart does on the side. So I was right. like, okay. <laughs> so I came down, right, but I'm staring the tube as I'm coming down. I land. Now, you know, water is, water is hard. Like, yeah. you know, if you hit it hard, it's like concrete. So I smack the water with the tube, right? I don't know I'm hurt at the time. I hear everybody on the boat. They're like, oh, my God, Kevin. It sounded just like that. They're like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. How so it, it was like, oh my God, Kevin. Okay, these, are, <laughs> yeah, these are all white people on the boat. <laughs> no, no. It was like the instructor and my kids. They were like, oh my God, Kevin. Right. So I came down. Now when I came down, I hit the, I hit the tube and I bounced off into the water. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm still fine. I go to swim, like literally with this stroke. I go to take a, swat, a stroke, but this shoulder had popped out of socket. Ah. I just thought that something, I, I thought that, right. I was, <laughs> like, you know, I don't know who's had dislocated shoulder or not, but if it's dislocated, you literally had, you don't have that much feeling at the bottom. So I was like, oh, my arm must be caught on the tube. So, <laughs> I was like, I was like, that's the only reason it's not coming back up. So, so once I saw I couldn't get it up, this is when I started to panic a little bit. I didn't cry, but you probably would have thought that that's what it was. Right. Because it was like, like, so, like, at this point in time, I'm flagging a guy because I want help. I'm like, ha! This, this idiot, this jackass is giving me a thumbs up. You did it. I'm like, no, no. I can't move it. He's, they come, they get me out the water, and uh, my brother was like, oh, man. He said, dude, I can see your shoulder. And, like, you know, you're fine until you see it. Like, once I saw it, like, it's just how, remember when you had your jam toe? That time. <laughs> you remember, right? Yeah, remember. remember? And you was like, you were fine. Someone was like, Shaq, you jammed your toe. You were like, ah. <laughs> <Right? laughs> it was like, it was like <laughs> <laughs> that's, how Shaq, that's how Shaq cries. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
It was the same thing. It was the same thing. So I saw it. I panicked. I lied to you not. I passed out, like, because I saw my shoulder out the socket. He was like, you're going to be all right. And I was like, too late. I'm going. <laughs> it was over. I woke up in the hospital. It was popped back in. Several. I've had several instances where I've been hit with reality checks. Like, OK, uh, biggest reality check I've had. I'm in Vegas, right? I'm with a, an athlete friend of mine. And, you, know, you know, athletes make a lot of money. Right. So we're there. We're hanging out. Keep in mind, he makes more money than me, Jay. So I'm trying to keep up with him. Sure. Whatever he does, I'm trying to do. Right. OK? So we go to a club. He got a table. So I got a table. He's like, Kev, we together. I said, so what? I got money, too. I want my own table. Like, that's, that's what I told him. Right, I'm going right, to spend right. my own money. Sure. I'm a man. Right. Despite my size, right. I'm grown. OK? So we get there. Yeah. He got bottles. I wanted to get bottles. Got to get bottles. Yeah, you know, he had women come. I didn't have no women, but at the time, I was with my aunt. Yeah. It, was, it was my aunt's birthday. You had your so aunt with you. I had my aunt okay, with me. Right. It was her birthday. Right, right. Uh, I got the bill. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like it. You ever, you ever get a bill so high, you try to put it in the light like it's going to change? Right. <laughs> it didn't change. Right? Nothing changed. It was what it was. So I had to talk to myself. I said, I said, Kevin, you know what? Just pay the bill. Go to your room. Go to sleep. So yeah. I go to my room. Yeah. I go to sleep. And here's, here's why I don't go out with athletes no more. The next morning, uh, I wake up. My friend I was with, he called me. Right. He was like, Kev, last night was crazy. I said, yo, I had a ball. He said, well, guess what? We're going to do the same thing again tonight. And I was right. like, you know, I can't, I can't go twice because because the way that my bank account is set up, like you, you ever, no, 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 you ever start explaining your financial situation to people for no reason at all? I said I would go, but the way my account is set up, I got a, I got a checking in the savings, but all the money is in my savings, right. so I got to I got to switch it to the checking, but it takes three business days. Right. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to do it at this, at this point in time. That's all. And it's true stuff. Yeah. True stuff, Jay. The next one is perfect form. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the next picture you guys don't see, my trunks came off. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was butt ball in that water. Gave a couple fish a surprise they didn't expect to get. Um, the bad part is that the people that were on the boat, the staff on the boat, I came back up because I, I didn't see my trunks at first. So I'm just laying in the water, and my wife is like, hey, uh, excuse me, <laughs> you out here skinny dipping? I was like, didn't plan on it. Uh, I don't know where the trunks are, so I had to like literally go back out to find my trunks. How do you not know that your trunks are gone? How do you not feel that? I got a lot of junk. A lot of junk. I didn't, you know, I didn't know what was going on. Okay, I thought I thought something was swimming around my ankle. <laughs> Twitch. Twitch. See that right there? You see that? You see the time on that right there? Uh... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I got into an accident on the plane. Uh, it was a delayed, a delayed scare. Cause we didn't realize that we were in an accident until, until we said it out loud. Like we knew, we knew something happened. Like we, we, we knew we were coming in weird cause the plane caught a tailwind. So a piece of the plane shifted down. So, you know, naturally when we're on a plane, we know what's normal, what's not. This is, this just started flying, and I was like, that's not, that don't normally happen, but you know, we, <laughs> you know, we still cool. We're, we're having a good conversation. <laughs> we land, the front hits, the back hits, and you hear boom, boom. And we all looked at each other, and there was a, a shock, and I yelled out, we're in Amsterdam! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna tell you, keep in mind, keep in mind, we are not in the air. At this point, we're, we're on the tarmac. Like, you can hear, like, the plane dragon. We turned into the most dramatic people. <laughs> we were holding each other. <laughs> it stopped, and the doors opened up. I was like, put your hand. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. I said, <laughs> I said, put your oxygen mask on. <laughs> you might as well get some use out of that. <laughs> my mind, in my mind, it was the worst thing ever. I was, I was the only jackass trying to put. The, ah, ah. Oh Everybody, wow. Everybody else was so calm. They were, they were, they were grabbing their bags. I got the mask. Oh, can you breathe? Can you breathe? Oh. All right, listen. I played. I played high school basketball. I played four years of varsity, but it wasn't. It wasn't easy. Okay. Um, I wanted to play 
real bad. This is all I wanted to do. And my mom, she didn't want me to try out because my school was like two hours from my house. And we had to catch public transportation. And the tryouts for the basketball team was at 6 a.m. This is a true story. And my mom was like, you're not leaving our house at 4 a.m. to go try out for a basketball team. There's all types of crazy people out here. I'm not sending my son on public transportation at that time. I was like, mom, but this is the tryouts. Like, I want to be on the team. It's the only way I can get to be on the team. She's like, no, not going to happen. So, because I'm such a genius, I decided to take all the clocks in the house and set all of the clocks forward. So, How so far when it was, forward? oh, I set it forward. Back. So I, when it was really 4 a.m., I set the clocks to say 6 a.m. That's what time I was leaving. So, like, wow. I woke my mom up and everything, like it was time for work. I gotta get up. She's like, it's still dark out. What's going on today? I'm like, I don't know, but we gotta get up out of here. Time to go. I, VCRs, clocks, her watches, everything. I set every clock in the house. And I I made it to tryouts. I tried out and I was happy. My plan worked. And midway through the day, I remember being in class. You know, classrooms got those skinny windows, right? And I'm like doing my work. And I remember a head popping in the window. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was my mom. <laughs> and my mom, and she was like, she just biting her lips. Like, <laughs> and I remember the teacher's like, Mr. Hart, your mother wants to see you. And I was like, don't, don't let me go out there by myself. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, go ahead, Miss Hart, you excuse. I was like, no, 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 please, you gotta come out there with me. <laughs> and I remember walking out in that hall, and all I heard us say was, you had me get to work two hours early? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't nobody else in the office but me. She beat me all the way home. Every bus we got on, she hit me, had me on the bus with nobody else on the bus. <laughs> the train, I never, I think I got whooped. I may have gotten whooped for three and a half hours straight. And there was nothing I could say, and I was happy because I made the team. You were at probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Okay. And people that know, I want to ask you, everybody take a look at this video, and we're going to ask you to, to kind of narrate what was happening. Take a look at this video. Uh, oh, my God. That's oh, oh. First of all, first of all, I know it looks bad with me running into the camera, okay? Uh, let, let me explain to y'all what's going on, all right? It was, a, um, it was Puffy's party, all right? Puff had a party. Uh, he's called me, said, Kev, can you host a party with me? I said, yeah, dude. I said, I'll do it. I said, I'm in New York. So he said, look, we create this little sexy scene in the bathroom. It's going to be girls in the tub. You, Trey Songs, fabulous. Like, it's nice. It's going to look like it's the place to be. We're going to you stream it. I said, oh, that's going to be hot. So we get up there. I'm hosting, you know? First of all, I'm a sex symbol. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, I'm up there, I'm up there, and I'm hosting, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm promoting the party. I'm like, yeah, man, this is a nice event. You see, we up here in the tub. I hear Trey songs behind me. First of all, if somebody here is on fire, it's a panic. Like, you, you know, you, it's a yell, yo, yo, your hair. It's so, it should be crazy. You would have thought Trey was singing. This is all I heard. I heard, yo, your hair's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> It was one of his tracks. Like, yo, your head's on fire. I turned around, I saw it, I was like, oh! oh! <laughs> so, like, literally, like the flame, like George, the, like, <laughs> the flame grew. Like, it was like, it was like somebody threw gasoline on it. Like, so, when I saw it, I was like, oh! Oh! But, <laughs> so, my first instinct was to save myself. Because, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> oh, it's true. At the end of the day, I don't, I don't want to die. You know, I don't know if you guys know, weaves are the most flammable thing out. <laughs> a weave, if there had been another girl next to her with a weave, that thing would have caught faster than the forest fire. <laughs> so, I said, so I just said, let me save myself. Now, to camera, I run. And I'm like, did you get that on tape? Only reason why I said that is because I didn't really get to see the whole thing. <laughs> so I wanted to... I, I, <laughs> I want to see it over again for my selfish reasons. All right, let's, let's take a look at it one more time, everybody. <laughs> let's see it again. In slow motion. That might be funny and slower. <laughs>
Thank you.